Welcome back to Just Scribble. I recently placed my first ever order with Portland Leather. This was totally influenced by Sam Kelly and her amazing videos and Instagram posts where she shared her love for Portland Leather goods. So after seeing her amazing videos and pictures, I decided I wanted to buy from Portland Leather goods as well. And so I placed an order and I actually ordered three things in the order. I ordered a tote from their normal tote listing. I ordered an item from their almost perfect set Section, and I ordered a mystery box. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys the tote and my almost perfect item. And then in a separate video, we're going to unbox my mystery box together. So I'm going to show you guys my almost perfect item first. This is my almost perfect item. This is the Ranch Wallet in Honey. I knew when I was looking on their website and looking through photos that Honey was going to be my favorite leather. It is smooth, it has a lot of structure, and it's this perfect warm toffee brown color. So I fell in love with it. So I decided that from their almost perfect section, I would get a ranch wallet. So the almost perfect items from what I can tell are just pieces of leather that aren't 100% perfect. They have some natural imperfections to them. And so they make goods out of those pieces of leather where it might have a scar or a wrinkle or a fat roll or something like that. And then they sell it at a discounted price. This is my ranch wallet in the almost perfect. And I have these beautiful scars right there a little bit of a mole there I love natural imperfections and full grain leather so I am perfectly okay with it they're almost a perfect line it might actually be my favorite but I decided for my first order I would order something that wasn't almost perfect and something that was so this ranch wallet really called to me because of its simplicity I don't carry a big wallet I don't carry a lot with me most of the time I carry a passport traveler's notebook or my zipper wallet from Chic Sparrow those are my two wallet options that I use but I really fell in love with this design so I decided to get it and I love it I did actually open this and the tote and check it out because I was sharing it with my sister because she wanted to order something from Portland leather as well so we checked them out together I have not opened the mystery box that will open in a separate video but when you open up the wallet it's just a single piece like this it has slits here for your cards and then a pocket there you could use for cash or receipts or your checkbook or whatever and then it has this here and it has these edges where it's open so it's not sealed off which I really like I just think aesthetically it's really really pretty and it has their brand there embossed there it's really light and soft it has some structure it smells amazing and it feels so good in the hand i'm really excited for this so i don't have any cards with me but i do have a washi card from the coffee monster co which is similar size to a credit card and then i have and then i have an expired gift card that i'm going to put here just so you guys can see how they'd fit so your cards would go in there like that and then if I had cash, which I don't have any cash laying around, but I have a card, a piece of paper. So we'll just stick that in there. Just, And then you would close it up, snap it closed, and it's really, really thin. When I first ordered this, I thought it might hold a Hobonichi Weeks. It might be big enough for that to slip in, but it's not. You can't slip a Hobonichi Weeks, even the soft cover inside here. But I did test with my Kinbor Weekly Planner, which is similar sized to the Hobonichi Weeks, and it's a soft cover. I actually can lay that in here and snap it closed. So if you carried a soft cover Hobonichi Weeks, you could have it resting inside, and you could carry just this as your wallet and planner. When you open it up, your Hobonichi Weeks would just be loose. Or if you use the Kinbor Weekly, the same thing. It would just kind of be loose in there, but it would keep it contained, and so you could keep your planner with your wallet. But that is my almost perfect honey ranch wallet which i'm in love with and i'm going to be setting up to use this week and then the next thing i got is my tote so this is my tote and i am super in love with it i used sam's discount code so i ended up getting this tote for almost the same cost as an almost perfect i think it was maybe two dollars more I think it is gorgeous. It is a medium sized tote, which I thought was the perfect everyday tote size to carry to work with my planner and all of my things. 
it is going to be a little hard to film on here like most totes just because I don't have a great large filming space right now. I will, with my studio upgrades, have a little bit of a better space, but I'll do the best that I can. But on the front, it has this beautiful pocket. I'm going to turn it like this so you guys can see it. So it's a nice deep pocket with a nice amount of room in it so you could stick stuff down inside there. It has these beautiful straps that are a different color than the leather. I did get this in honey as well because like I said, I knew from the minute I saw it, this was going to be my favorite leather. It will, oops, sorry, I hit my camera. It will stand up straight and not buckle because this leather does have a lot of structure. Inside, it has this little snap piece here so that you can attach your keys. Oh, I forgot I had dropped some stuff down in there. Let me take that out. So you can attach your keys there, or if you're using it for work like I am, I have a badge to get into our building, onto our campus, so I can keep my badge attached there, which is awesome. And then on the other side, it has a pocket. It has their, if I can get this out so you can see it. It has their logo attached there. This actually weighs quite a bit. The tote itself is really, really light. The thing that weighs the most is this logo here. It has this pocket that is sort of freestanding and you open it up there it's nice and deep it can hold your phone your keys anything you wanted and then it's not attached on the other side so you can reach all the way down inside to the tote there it is a nice roomy tote so this this is an a5 sojourner folio so if i stick that folio down in there can see there's still a ton of room so I just have a stack of notebooks here let's test I'm trying to do this without bumping the camera too much I'm sorry if there's some wiggle so this is a classic happy planner so you could fit a classic happy planner in there. I've had Pro, which is an 11 inch, I think. It fits in here perfectly with my A5 planner and an A5 journal and my wallet and my pencil bag, all of the things. You can fit a 13 inch MacBook in here as well. I don't have mine handy, but you can fit that in here as well. This has lots of space and it stays standing, which I really, really like. It is made differently than my Chic Sparrow Totes, so I'm gonna flip it over so you guys can see. So on my Chic Sparrow Totes, I have a Route 66, which is the same design as their Rustic Tote, and I have a Cheyenne. They are one piece of leather, so there's no seam. In this tote, there's actually a seam where they've put all the pieces of leather, the edges, together. So there's a seam at the bottom here, and then on the corners where it comes together. This makes a really nice bottom and base for the bag, so it stays nice and flat. My Chic Sparrows stay nice and flat too, but they're a little pebblier, so they won't hold their structure in the same way. And for a little bit of a size reference, this is the medium, so it is pretty much directly in between the size of my Cheyenne and the size of my Route 66 or Rustic Tote from Chic Sparrow. So when I set them next to each other, and I will try to get a picture and post it on Instagram probably next weekend, but when I set them all next to each other, this one is in between the size of those two. I currently am carrying the Route 66 to and from work and I'm gonna switch out into this one and all of my stuff still fits nicely in this tote. So that is my new honey medium size tote from Portland Leather and my matching ranch wallet also in the honey leather. So this is a non almost perfect. This is an almost perfect. I really like these products. I'm really excited for this brand. My wallet is not excited, but I am excited. I already have a wish list for two more bags that I want. Well, technically I guess three, but I already ordered one of those in another mystery box. So I do have another mystery box coming to me, but then I have two more bags on my wish list. One is a backpack and one is their butterfly crossbody bag. So I know in the near future, I'll probably be ordering those and I will share them with you guys when I get them, but I wanted to share my new wallet and my tote with you guys. I'll try to take some pictures and get them posted on Instagram and in the community tab, just so you can see the tote filled and in its glory. But I wanted to share it with you guys since my sister and I opened it up last night, I wanted to just pop on and do that. But I will definitely do a video in the future also just showing you what I'm carrying in my tote after I figure out 
how I want to fill it and what I want to carry to and from work because that's pretty much what I'll be using this tote for. But that is my share of my first ever order from Portland Leather. If you have any questions about what I ordered, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.